Yo, what's good? Thank you for clicking on today's video. I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to incorporate green screen assets from YouTube and drag them straight into your music videos or just a video that you're looking to edit. Now, this can be done in many ways, but the way I'm going to be showing you guys today is very easy and very simple. Feel free to go in my description. We have loads of presets available for you guys to download to speed up your workflow. But without further ado, let's dive straight into this tutorial. So make sure that you have all your clips ready. I've got three clips here that I'm going to be utilizing for these effects today. So we're just going to make sure that we have started off with clip number one. Now, of course, today we are going to be in After Effects, but I do have my sequences within Premiere Pro just because this is how I usually edit my music videos. So we've got clip one, clip two and clip three. So we're just going to start off with the first clip. And what you want to make sure you do is just rotoscope your subject out if you don't know how to rotoscope feel free to go on my channel i have loads of videos available for you guys to watch about rotoscoping and you can learn there for absolutely free so i'm just going to rotoscope the subject and then we're going to head into what to do next so once you have rotoscoped out your subject i'm just going to click freeze and you should have something looking like this of course yours is going to look a lot more different to mine and we're just going to clean up the feather a little bit we're just going to add let's just say 15 on the feather and then we're gonna minus the shift edge by I'd say I think around 90 is good enough for me and then we're just gonna duplicate this layer and we're gonna go to the second layer and click delete on the rotoscopes and then now we've got our main clip back here but we just have our rotoscope available here but we're just gonna go to downloads and we're just going to simply drag this into our after effects composition so it's this one right here and we're just going to drag it in so then now we're going to be able to see our green screen video which is right here but all we want to do is, is basically just trim this up until we can see the part that we actually want to use which i think is coming up just one more trim should do so i'd say around here so now the first thing you want to do is just click on your layer and you want to click on this icon right here so that it toggles the mask and you can just make this big and make it to the size of your video. Then you just want to go to your effects and presets and type in key. And the one that you're going to click on is called key light 1.2. So you're just going to drag that onto your green screen layer. And then we're going to click on the pen tool up here where it says screen color and we're just going to click on the green screen and that is going to remove our green screen so then now when we play this back we've literally got butterflies going around our subject very simple guys but it just goes to show that you don't actually really need to animate these sort of effects yourself you can just grab them from youtube and just add them into your project now some of you might want to keep this the way it is just simple as that but just to give this a little bit more of an effect, we're going to drag this layer underneath our rotoscope layer so that these butterflies are flying in front and behind, which looks really sick. It's got more of a realistic look so that it looks as if they are flying directly behind him and around him, which looks really nice. You could say to yourself like, OK, cool. Are these butterflies big enough? Do they look like they're in frame correctly? And I feel like we could just touch this up just a little bit more just by increasing the size of these butterflies so I say around there and now when we watch this back we've got them coming up and over from the screen which looks so sick next thing we can do to these is just add a blur and we're gonna drag that onto our layer and we're just gonna increase the blur so then now you got a look like this which looks blurry but it's got a cinematic look to it which looks really sick let's go to effects and presets I'm gonna type in glow but you can use the After Effects Glow and we can go to uni.glow here, drag that onto our subject and that might be the look that we're trying to get, okay? So now what we can do is we can go to the settings on Uni Glow, and you can go to the intensity and just slightly bring this down so it doesn't ruin the effect. So I'd say around here and then what we can do is we can go to Hue and Saturation and we can drag this onto the green screen layer and then we can literally end up changing the colors of the butterflies and you can change the saturation here to bring the colors out a little bit more let's just say around 50 so as you can see this is the colors we're getting 
and this is the color that I've gone for. I'm happy with the way that this is looking. We can improve this a lot more by adding more stuff to this effect. Use any of the presets you may have. Now we're gonna go onto our second clip right here. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna rotoscope our subject out. And as you can see, we have our butterflies here again. And we're just gonna do the same thing, make it big and just click on key light 1.2 and drag it onto our butterflies and just press the pen tool on that. So now we've got our butterflies again, but this time they're kind of going across the screen, which looks kind of sick and they have a glow on them already. So we're just gonna drag this underneath our rotoscope layer. We kind of got them flying behind the artist here. Yes, I can see that they have a glow on this already, but I feel like it might look better if we add our own glow as well. So something like this and just bring down the intensity a little bit with the hue and the saturation and just change the color to what you want so maybe like a light blue and this does look sick and again guys you can just keep moving it around until you are happy with the way that it looks which looks perfect I'm happy with the way that looks and we can just keep adjusting the butterflies movement until we are actually happy with it so this looks perfect and then we can just add a glow for this one i'm gonna add deep glow see what this looks like i actually haven't tried deep glow yet on this one and this is just looking so perfect look how clean this is looking we can just decrease the glow ever so slightly so maybe something like 0 0.75 so then we got this sort of look and then what we can also do is we can add a blur to this just like we have been doing with the other assets we can drag that on and just increase that a little bit i'd say to five and now this is the look we're getting this looks so dreamy it looks sick it works very well with a clip like this i did actually direct and edit this video so me adding this effect is like damn i should have actually done this in the video last thing we can do again is just change the hue and saturation so it's like a rinse and repeat for each effect and you can do this within your own videos guys feel free to experiment don't just copy what I'm doing and we're gonna go for green because I mean the water here is green so it's gonna look sick with that it's gonna go right so now when we watch this back look how sick this looks guys and imagine having this with your other presets involved like a rotoscope or freeze frame and then it comes into this this is gonna look absolutely insane so guys I hope you enjoyed the video I feel like today's video was a lot more informative and maybe something that you just didn't know about and you've seen it done in a lot of music videos this could actually change the way you edit in terms of your creativity and VFX wise you're gonna be thinking a lot more in terms of what you actually want within the video please put your comments below if you felt like this video helped you out a ton and you didn't know most of this information hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you are new smash that subscribe button and the bell notification i'll be uploading as much as i can for you guys and i'll see you in the next video love